The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your garage problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 108. We get the Nasdaq up 68. S&P's up 15 and a half. Gold contract flat 12. 13.2870 an ounce. We have silver up seven cents, fourteen dollars seventy-one cents. Light sweet crude up thirty-six cents, trading fifty-three dollars sixty-two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note down four ticks, one twenty-six twenty. Thirty-year bond off three at one fifty-three twelve. And king dollar. King dollar down eleven ticks, trading ninety-six seven hundred. King dollar uh, hasn't been able to hold price. Uh, bottom line, we'll see if uh, this ninety-five ninety-four is game inside king dollar. Euro. Euro is at 113. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Banker Swim, as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, if you want to understand options, option strategies, futures, outstanding show, Kevin and his team will walk you through it every day. And we have a question for Kevin because we were getting calls here yesterday, and I, I know they were jumping on listening to him after that. But uh, bottom line, Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How we doing? Good morning, we're doing Kevin. Great. So listen, okay, we got a call yesterday, right? Now check this out. You okay. might have heard of this name, Kevin, of the stock. Go ahead. What yeah, were we talking be about? Beyond me, okay? <laughs> yes. Now we had to think a swim platform up, right? Now the call up. And what we did, Tommy, this is pretty cool. Tommy froze the screen from yesterday, right? So the caller wanted to buy, it was a 35 put, right? January 35 puts, put. right, Kevin? So okay. it was trading sure. at 170. They wanted to buy the 35 put right. from January. Right. Um, and yeah. so, you know, I was saying, listen, man, you know, that's that's far out of the money, you know, the whole bit. Have you bought out of the money And before? they didn't think it was going to go to 35. They just wanted to play that pop for a move down. For 20 or 30 cents. Whatever it was, right, right exactly. you know, exactly. um, to put it in context. So... Now we have, you know, beyond meat down uh, how many dollars? Where? Oh well, it's down twenty. Down thirty-two bucks right oh, now. Yeah, from it's yeah. And of course, well, not of course. Then that's what our question is, right? The option hasn't moved. <laughs> like barely, really, yeah. right? I mean, we have. You sure. Know, it's it's uh, it's trading right now, Kevin, with a bid ask of one seventy-five by one eighty, and I even have the screen yesterday at a time when it w when it had a bid ask of one fifty by one eighty. Right. Um, but right. it put up a two seventy print. It says yesterday, and so, you, you, you yeah. know. Um, so, and so so what's your what what do you you know what are your feelings on a trade like that uh, setup? Right. First and foremost, okay. This stock is completely illiquid, right? Yes. Make no mistake about that. Because it's hard to borrow, Yeah. right? If you buy puts from someone, how do they hedge it? They have to hedge by shorting the stock, okay. right? If they sell puts to you, that's a bearish position for you, bullish position for them. That person on the other side of the trade has to hedge it by sh selling the stock, which... He, he he can borrow the stock to sell it, but it may get called in. Right. So the premium level on that put that he wants to, that your customer, your listener wanted to buy, is astronomical in terms of value. Yes. Right now, the, since then the stock has come in. The the implied volatility has probably come down as well in that. Not to mention the market on that option is probably very wide. Right, because this is a relatively new, uh, sure. new release of options, yes. and it's very illiquid. So, for your viewers that are playing this, you've got to be really careful right. with what you're doing and the liquidity. If, if if the markets are unbelievably wide in these names, you've got to be careful that it costs you so much to get in and out of the trade that it's not worth doing. Yeah, exactly. Right? And pressure. it all has to do because, believe me, you know, the stock is trading at astronomical levels and the implied volatility are, are over 200 right. on some of these options. Yeah. So you just got to be really careful because 
no one wants to remember that person that sells your viewer those puts has to hedge it by shorting stock that could at any point be bought in on him by his clearing firm because they can't borrow it. Sure. So, Kevin, so it's me, extremely risky. Let me ask you this, because it, it, it seems to me, I remember when it happened years ago, and that's when I was asking, has he ever got something so far out of the money? Because I remember, I don't know whether it was about 10 years ago, I had bought some puts on something out of the money pretty dramatically, and they were actually leaps out of the money. And I remember the market kept coming towards me, but that leap wasn't moving, man. Right. Until like almost the very last two months, and then it stopped moving, right? So what we're trying to figure out, is there a way that you can gauge that, you know, I know 35 is, you know, really low, but is there a way that you can Yeah, that's $100 from where it is now. No, yeah. totally, you're talking about totally. the plain 35s. Yeah, so as the implied volatility goes down, yeah. that would be saying that that doesn't have to move at all, right? Because right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's what that's what right. you're really facing there. Sure. You know, you're, you're facing a, a crush in, on the volatility, which would make sense because it already just come off $40. It come yeah. off $40 from yesterday already. Right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Right. That, that option is not re reacting to the underlying move in the, uh, in, in the stock yes. because of it's getting dwarfed or minimized by the decreasing implied volatility. Yeah. See, folks, every trading day right here, if you want to understand these options, and it's, it's common sense. It's, yes. it's really cool once you understand what the Definitely. ratio is, right? You I know? was excited to pull up yesterday's price action to see it. To I know. You know. And then, of course, it's... Um, it's the first thing I thought about this morning. Then it has I, all I can I, tell you guys, it's, it's like buying a million-dollar life insurance policy, but they're charging you a million dollars for it. Sure. Yeah. Right. There's just not a lot of money to be made on that yeah. because they're charging you so high for it. Yes. And that's got to be frustrating, man. It just literally fell almost $35, $40 oh, yeah. since that call right. yesterday. You oh, know? So, I mean, so the way to trade this is through implied volatility. You've got to trade implied volatility here right. and trade risk-defined strategies with implied volatility. That's the way you do it. That's nice. awesome, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch gears on you. Our, our two favorite girls, Lululemon. Right. Lululemon tomorrow, tomorrow, I think, right? Lululemon, right. And, um, you know, that, that's going to be fun. You know, it's getting thin. The end of earnings season. The good news is, guys, we're only about four and a half weeks away from another earnings season. I know, but yeah. Th this time on the calendar, it gets pretty thin. We've got Lululemon tomorrow. We've got Restoration Hardware tomorrow. Oh, We've nice. got Broadcom on Thursday. Those are a couple good names, but that's really it. There's not much else that we would advise clients to get into here. So we're going to trade them. We're going to look at them. But we're not going to trade something just to trade anything. We're going to look at the overall market. What we're going to do today on, on the show, we're going to work themes into it, which today we're going to talk about casino stocks, Wynn Resort, oh, yeah. MGM, La Las Vegas Sands, with all the news on gambling and um, legalized gambling. What Those stocks had big pops yesterday. Yeah, you got that, the, the, the win up in Encore in Boston, man. Forget right. it. All those gamblers in Boston, all those Irish guys, that's all they do is gamble, man. They got a lot of competition <laughs> now up there. Everybody knows. They Open do. a casino in the Northeast, man. <laughs> Listen, folks. Right here, 45 minutes from now, outstanding program. Just as we, Kevin just walked us through Beyond Meat and Hoax, if you, and as Kevin said, you want to trade the implied volatility. So um, I hope, uh, you know, all you callers out there, join in, listen to the Check program. Check it out. That's right. So big time. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program in uh, 45 minutes. Great talking to you guys. Have a good day. Thank you, you too, Kevin. Thanks, man. Sarah Day, Tommy and I come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 84, NASDAQ up 45, S&P is up 10. And, uh, you know, at the get-go out here, folks, what you had is that you had the market test the highs of yesterday. Um, and, you know, we'll see whether that doesn't look to me like they're going to hold. Uh, you, you got right up over this high yesterday. Uh, the high yesterday was 2905. You get to 2911. Your swing point up there is at 28.94. So that's the number you want to be watching uh, all day today. You know, we'll see whether it can uh, basically hold it. Uh, we, di we didn't hold it uh, yesterday. And I don't, I don't know, I expect them we're going to hold it today, but we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here this morning. We get, we get uh, API after the close today, too. Yes, for yeah. oil, 4 okay. today, right. yeah. So we have uh, Advanced Micro down 45 uh, cents. You get uh, Beyond Meats, the number. We'll pull that up. That's down 32 bucks. 135 cycle it's stock. Down now that all the shorts had to close their position yesterday. I know. Oh, it's <laughs> intense. I chuckle, but oh, it's amazing. It's, I think it's intense, cool. man. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's intense. Uh, you get Facebook. Look at Facebook's up 352. That's, okay. that's, that's got a number on it. Let's see what's happening with Facebook out here. Apple's up again as well. Has Maybe it? they're all, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, but I see. Okay. So you've already been one step. Well, it's still not bad. Yeah. Yeah. You got uh, Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple. Uh, so it's Apple's up two twenty-seven. Right it is. You know, they're they're all trying to basically get over the highs of yesterday. Sure. Uh, we take a look at the NDX one hundred. Uh, strength versus a weakness. Oh yeah, China was up big. We'll bring that up. Uh, C trip is up four four and a quarter percent. JD.com is up three four percent. You got uh, Dollar Tree up three point four and Baidu's up three point one. What's up with Dollar Tree? They come out with earnings or something? Yeah, let's take it's a quite look. a little pop for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is. So let's see. The low for the is 78. The high is 111. They're right 25 next... billion dollar. They must be selling a lot of dollar items. Oh, we're at 25 it's telling billion. you, man. Uh, upgraded to old way to JP Morgan. JP. Okay. Yeah. So uh, here, watch this, folks. You want to see Shanghai? Shanghai took off uh, topside last night, and it looks like it, it does want to do something here. So this is you're up 2.5 percent. Uh, it's been consolidating at the lows, and that got a good pop, man. I mean, definitely. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, look at the volume in it. Yeah, look at that. 
you know, twenty six billion. <laughs> okay. Isn't that funny? And what uh anything driving that? Not really. I was I mean, looking the last headline I saw was yeah. Trump saying we can go far above twenty five percent on tariffs. So obviously not that headline. Um, no, but as if, no, exactly. Yeah. Uh, bottom line is that they're out there buying. The, the government may may have done something, you know, okay. inside sure. it. Sure. Um, I, I really don't know, but uh, quite quite a move, man. There's, there's no doubt about that. The uh, let's go to the FTSE in the UK. So that's still higher this morning, up 34 bucks. Uh, the DAX, and that's over the swing point that we're coming into, folks. Uh, the DAX is coming into the swing. So this is going to be a big day, man, you know. Um, we'll see whether the market uh, can hold price. Uh, gold, bottom line, gold has held price. It's rejected this uh, 13, oh, 1323. That's interesting. Yeah, no, that'd be, that makes sense. Okay, that's overnight. You get uh, 146,000 contracts, which is going to be light contract volume. Uh, we we did yesterday. You did uh, is that the queue? Yeah, that's the queue. So we did uh, 228,000. You're going against uh, 363. Okay. You know. Yeah. So that and it's going to be about this dollar, folks. Uh, dollar out here. Yesterday, you went higher. You had lighter volume. Um, it couldn't hold price, and it looks to me like it's doing the same thing today. You get 15,000 contracts yesterday. I believe we did 24. Yeah, 24,000. You're coming into that uh, 29, 20, yeah, 29,000. So you get a lot of moving parts, man. There's no, there's no doubt about that. I'm just looking at some of the top you have up here. One of these stocks down like 50%. Yeah, today. what Let's is that? Let's go take on. a look at that. So we have Kaima Bay, Saima Bay, Surprise Miss Rocks, Genfit, while well, Viking Rallies. Uh, so this stock down. Trading at about 550. Cut liver fat more than small cap drug. Like so yeah, showing a placebo cut yeah. liver fat more than a small cap drug maker's experimental debris. So yeah, I mean, how does that work? No, right. That's I mean, a that's head gain. The power of the placebo. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. why it's a real deal. It is um, in terms of you know when people just think they're taking something that's going to make them better. Sometimes that's enough to get, th process, get things man. going, which is always remarkable. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Uh, there you go. But unfortunately, that says that their drug has zero impact from what they so uh and where was maybe we can pull up there where were they there they are yeah so 580 Cut in let's, half. See what, let's see what they have going on so th clinical stage biopharma company focused in developing metabolic diseases um they were almost a billion dollar company now they're like 400 million yeah quite a move and let's go we gotta go look at beyond meat b y n d just to, I want to see what this chart looks like now. Whew. That's quite a chart, man. So Friday, we were at 120 to 149. Today, we're at 150 to 131. Yeah. Uh, what about before Friday, Thursday? Where one, we, where Thursday, one, about 100. Yeah. Uh, 102, but yeah. just, uh, and that was right before earnings. So you could still argue they're up 33% since they came out with earnings oh, this Thursday is, night. I was just, think, I was just thinking. Like, I was just thinking about the people that had get a forced close on the shot position. Uh, that's yeah. the, that's that's one of the gambles of shorting. Oh, it's huge, right? It's it's, it's uh, and and it's not like it's some super rare occurrence. No, you it's have not. to be aware that that's one of those variables. If you're going to go short, that um, if a lot of people are short and it starts going up, there's going to be forced buying. Oh and yeah, it's a self-fulfilling right. prophecy right. at that point, and um, eventually it's just going to be too painful that you got to sell. Right. Yeah. And what happens, folks? And is then that's that usually when it goes down. It, no, it <laughs> it's, is. It's just it, how it, it goes. When it's bought in, that's yeah. exactly what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go to uh, John in Chicago. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you? Good Good morning, John. Right. You. I heard it's only 60 degrees in Chicago this morning. Uh, it's starting to warm up. Thank Finally, it's starting to warm up. We had snow in May, and now it's starting to warm up a little good. bit. Good. It's sunny today. Good. Nice. That's okay. a good thing. Good. What are we going to look at? I had a question. Yeah, I had a question. I'm in two gold equities, and it's really a question about stops. Okay. Um, there's two that I've got. KGC. Yeah. Maybe uh, we could look at that one first. Ken Ross Gold. Um, okay, so let's take a look at so Ken I Ross. Got in at I got in at 312. Okay. So I'm up pretty pretty nicely, and yeah. Uh, yeah so as I said, the question is just about stops, and I, I tend to be so I'm still in it. It's come down off of this high, where uh, 371 or so. Sure. And um, I try and be liberal with the stops, meaning 
you know, I try and give it room to breathe and okay. I don't want to get stopped out too early. And I don't want to look at it all day and panic when it comes down. Um, so what, what's your two cents on that? Can I ask you first where you would put your stop? I'm just curious. Uh, let's see. I did bump it up to break even. And, and what would be break even? 312. 312? Okay. So... Well, that's where I got in, and I maybe put it a little above that just to lock in. I have it at 329. That's where I put my stop. Okay, cool. Okay. So, so a little under uh, halfway off the top. Yeah, no, I'm with in. you. Okay. So, here, you just stay right there. This is a great question, man. We're going to go through this, but particularly sure. because this is a different animal, too, inside the gold market, folks. And I want to just explain the difference to you that, you, you know, you can't just look at a price and say, okay, I'm going to do 10%. When you're, especially when you're dealing with right. a 339 stock, sure. you know. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 54. 102. 102. Come right Hi, back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 121. Nasdaq's up 59. S&P's up 13. We're talking with John. We're talking about uh, stops inside a couple uh, gold equities right now. So what happens, John, is that the way I like to do this, right, I, I think your stop's going to be all right. I'd put it a little bit lower, actually, but, and this is why. So what happens is that, and it gets really tricky, folks, inside these gold 
equities in general because a lot of them are trading at a very small price. So it's like, okay, if you're going to get in, you know, sometimes you're putting a stop like 15, 18 percent below 20 percent. They big percentage swings. They do. For sure. They, it's yeah. huge. So what you like yeah. to do is, you know, you can see you had, you had the, the straight started there, you know, at 322. Yeah, on the, May 31st. Yeah, May 31st. You know, it's backing down with light volume, you know, but and it makes sense that, you know, bottom line is if you break that 332, you know, it's going to go to the 322. So, um, yeah, you know, at 312, I think you're, you're, you're cool, man. Um, okay. You know, and, and yeah, most... I did bump it up to... I'm sorry. I did bump it up to 329 and maybe, uh, you know, I was kind of looking at a FIB number. So from the bottom, that would be just around... 0.618. Yeah, uh, maybe a little higher. Maybe I'll bring it down just a, a pinch. I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to have a winner to turn into a loser, but I do want to let it run if I can. Okay, and so here, let's so talk. Guess, let, let, that's okay. The, that's a great the other one was BTG. Yeah, yeah. Let me let's talk about a winner into a loser for a second. Okay. Now you hear that all the time, and, and I, I agree with the concept in general. I don't agree with the concept though, and the aspect when you're trading these gold stocks, and and, and this is why. You have to know that these things, man, they go up 20% and down 20% in a heartbeat. And mm -hmm. you just got to get used to them, you know? I mean, because if, if you want the big money, meaning if this is really the run, you're going to take some heat for a month or two months. And, and that's how it works. And if you don't take the heat um, and be willing to basically say, okay, I'm going to take this type of a loss for this type of a gain, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll make something, but you won't make, like, what can be really made. Because when these things right. run, you know, it's not a big deal for them to run, like, 125% either in six sure. weeks. You know what I mean? So you're just going to yeah. – whatever your own parameter is is cool. That's, that's all I'm trying to get to. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, and My main thing is I've just kind of – and I've only been doing this for about three years. I'm getting used to a lot of these gold equities and just – not worrying about it too much. Trying to keep my eyes off the screen, and you know it'll go down. Yeah, that's a, a great days, thing to do. It'll go up a few days. So and if I sit there and stare at it, I'm just going to do the wrong thing. So but, and and what I'm hearing there now, this is what's cool. When you're not over your head, and you have positions that are small enough, or just you know for every individual person, and it's not the end of the world. That's how you want to be in these because what will end up happening. Yeah. I, you know, if you buy them when they're low enough, then you just got to sit, 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 and that's kind of how it is. It's not, this is not a tech stock, do you know what I mean? What does happen right. with them, though, is that when they run, they will run. You know, but when they get smoked, they'll get smoked, too. So, you know, like with uh, B2 Gold, you know, you can see that that number there would be like 264, under 264. Now, this one gets dangerous, because look where you are, you're 269. That's a May 31st low. Yeah. 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 You know, so... You know, that's, and I wouldn't have a problem putting it there. The reason being is that KGC is stronger than B2 Gold, for sure, when you look at this. That just, it just is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So That's why I wanted to compare these two, actually, because I'm in both of them. I'm up on both of them. Yep. Uh, BTG is definitely, you know, the past two days kind of tell the story. The past three days tell the story. BTG is definitely down all red and down lower, and um, so that's maybe one that I wanted to look at if you have a couple seconds and compare it to KGC and and this whole aspect of where should I keep my stop and because I am where did I get in on this? I got in at 256, so I'm still up. That's quite awesome. A bit. Okay, so this is what's cool. So check this out. If you if you're watching Tiger TV, see this 10 minute buy here. Someone just came in really nice. Well, it was the, that was a nice buy at this, uh, right before we get on. Yeah, let me see. Well, well this, this buy is going to check out here, I think. There it is. 800,000 shares at 1025. So this is pretty cool. So now when you see something like this, right, now you know you have a buyer at 270. So you have your yeah. stop at what? Uh, Two. I put it at 263. Just keep it there, man. Just because yeah. guess what? If that if that gets below that, then you, then it's a problem because we know that that's a buyer, you know. Because right. if that was a sell, that thing would have went lower, you know. I mean, someone's coming in with 800,000 shares. It's like okay, you know. So yeah. I'd keep it right okay, there, great. man. Great. Great. That helps a lot. Yeah. So you know, 
It's the, the, the whole gold deal is a patience longer deal in general. And it's as close as you can get to lower price and keep your eye on the dollar, of course, okay, because it's all about the dollar. You know, because if the, the met what the metal has done out here, the metal has rejected lower price. What is really cool out here today is that silver basically has actually gone up a little. You know, it's out, it rejected that yeah. uh, 1463, which is a big deal because silver's been the dog. You know, in a huge way, too. Um, right. you know, so if silver can hold, you, your probability is a lot better that, uh, you know, gold's going to hold. So, And the, the bonds, right. the, the notes and bonds, you know, you can see this this morning, they've rejected lower price. So that is a big deal because of the aspect of interest rate structure, period. You know, if the interest rate's going to continue lower, your probability is much better that people will come in and buy gold. You know, so... Great. You can mesh that's, that's the super helpful. fundamental with the technical there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Cooking, brother. I really appreciate it. And, you know, the gold stocks, I don't really always know a whole lot about the company. I just look at the charts. I know basically what they're doing and follow the dollar, follow the yen a little bit. Right. Look at the TLT and the dollar. That's good. That's, anyway. The, the, the yen's a big deal. If, the, if that yen, you know, keeps getting stronger, gold will keep going up. And, you know, the yen out here has been going sideways the last couple of days, but the yen is really important as to the uh, aspect of where does, gold does want to go. So, Great. Okay, Thanks man. so much. That's been a huge help. I really appreciate well, we it. We appreciate the phone call, too. All Have right. a great one, man. Have a, Have a safe one. one. Thanks, John. Thanks. There's so many moving parts in that market, man. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You start talking about gold, you're dealing with the dollar, right. Right, you're dealing with interest rates, a lot of structure. currencies, co interest right. rates. Right. Um, let's listen to Bloomberg early morning. I mean, it is remarkable, man. Did you listen to Jeff Carey? You must have. I don't think, I'm not sure. Uh, so he's the uh, commodity analyst at uh, Goldman Sachs, right? What was he saying? He, he was just great. He was, he was on this morning, folks. If you get to listen to it again, it was about all commodities. The guy's knows so many things about them. Sure. Um, and it was just cool how he was putting them all together. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. he's bullish gold right now, but he was explaining to... No wonder you're so excited. Go ahead. Well, he was explaining to the audience... Gotta listen to this guy. He yeah, was okay. explaining to the audience in general. Like, the, the guy's, like, one, the number nice. one commodities no, guy sure. yeah. of all the analysts out yeah. there anyway. But he was explaining, they kept asking him about longer-term deals, and he was saying, hey, listen, man, that is not the commodity market. You're not, you better not get in the commodity market if you want a long-term deal. Nice. You know what I mean? Sure. So it, yeah. it was one of those deals, like, yeah. you know. It's, What's this planting season doing, right? It, it, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. And, and you got to run with it unless you're going to run five or ten years out, okay. and that's different. So it goes super long or, or stays exactly. exactly. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Target First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Target First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up to 66, Nasdaq's up 44, S&Ps are up 8, and for all you basketball fans out here, this was a tough one last night, right? Uh, uh, yeah, no matter how you shake it up, right? Even if you're a Golden State fan, it's a tough one because Durant has seemed seemingly definitely gone for this season, if not the whole next season, with possibly an Achilles tear. Um, on the flip side of that, straight in basketball, Golden State wins by a point in Toronto to go down now 3-2 in the series. 3-2, so okay. So they avoid uh, elimination. Came down to the last shot. Um, Toronto had the ball down by one. Toronto was actually up by six points with three minutes left. And the other story you'll hear is that Toronto, their coach, called a timeout right after they had gone up by six with three minutes and 15 seconds left. And to bring into what actually happens in the NBA is that I was reading about because it, it was really like, and it did, stop the momentum. Golden yeah. State came back and actually hit three three-pointers in a row to oh go up God. by three. Um, and the rules in the NBA are that you're only allowed two timeouts once it gets under three minutes. Okay. So what coaches will do is they might use the timeout right ahead of three minutes because otherwise, no matter how many you have left, yeah. you can only take two in the last three minutes. Right. It's to prevent like a, a game of incessant timeouts towards the end of the game. Because yep. in basketball, you get a lot of timeouts. You get like six or seven timeouts. Okay. So he opted to take it, rest the oh. players, kill some momentum. Uh, this story, though... Kevin Durant, he is going to become likely a free agent at the end of the season, and that's where it gets in. So um, he was widely expected. He has the option to opt out. He was pretty much expected to do that because okay. then you can jump right back into, even with your own team, a mammoth contract to the tune of if you stay with your team because the rules are designed to keep you with the same team, they okay. allow you to get a little bit of a better financial deal. Yeah. Uh, $221 million from the Warriors if they decide to offer him that contract or... Um, he can go for 160 million for four years. 221 over five if you stay, 160 over four. Now, um, and, and that, he, that's a lot of money for not to play. For yeah, a year. and if he does not opt out, he has one more year left, I believe, with 31 million dollars. Um, that he's already guaranteed. That's part of the contract. He has the opt out. Uh, now it's it's there's so much speculation in terms of where he was going to end up. This just throws another real wrinkle because even if they sign him, he's going to be out probably for a year. I mean, they're going to have more information. That's going to be a probability bet, right? So because you get 31 million, you're you're out anyway. If you did 31 million times five, you get 150. You get yeah, I think he's, the, the consensus is he's going to opt out because he's a good enough player, even with this type of an injury, yeah. which is remarkable that he's probably going to get a max contract, which is remarkable right. to think about. You, I mean, Because an athlete like that, a year of being off, even Achilles heel is pretty serious, actually, right? The, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost as serious as it gets, but yeah. it's something that you are able to usually come back from. It right. just takes a real long, long time. time. Yeah. Um, it takes you know, complete healing of that tendon, which can take a year, year and a half and to, be so able to, rough, to be able to compete <laughs> at that level, right? It's like, you know, you can probably be a normal person walking far before then, but you want to compete? You want to go play with the... Uh, yeah, the big boys? Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah. But. 
Market-wise, you want to go play with the big boys, guess what? The big boys are selling this S&P off right now, folks. If we take a look at uh, the S&P, the, I think we probably got to cut in half since the open. Let's see. So your high is at 29.15. Yeah, you're 29.01. It's a solid half a percent. Yeah. Just and like if we take a look at it, you got selling. We're at, uh, you know, we definitely have selling. That's only six minutes into this bar, and you got juice on the bar. We got, uh, well, it's not that many contracts. Hold it. Yeah. Well, it's really not, but it's more than we've had. That's that's the yes. bottom line, yep. you know. So, this puts game, yeah, puts game over there at uh, twenty-eight ninety-four. How about Uber? Can we jump to Uber? Because I know their CEO was at a some type of a conference right in Washington D.C. talking this morning, saying okay. they're going to be the next Amazon, but also saying that um, it's going to be more than fifteen years until they have self-driving Ubers. That would make sense. Yeah, it makes, yeah. of course it makes right. sense, right? Right. Um, right? You know, I mean. Time moves very quickly. Um, you want to talk about transitioning an entire fleet to having no drivers on the roads. Um, that's going to take some time. It was kind of refreshing to hear um, somebody actually be realistic versus, I mean, you hear stuff from like, I think it was, they were talking about GM and, you know, next year or something like that, right? Um, so you get the, he said he's going to focus on growth over profitability during the coming years. Well, so he's given everyone a warning, folks, uh, that owns Uber, that this is going to be like an Amazon deal, that he'll decide when he I would agree. he's going to come down to the bottom line. Especially when he puts the expectations for self-driving cars at 15 plus, and that's what, you know, asked when all, all of Uber, so a full yeah. transition, right? right? You know, yeah, they already have experimental cars somewhere in the country on the sure. road. Um, would go driverless. Uh, it said that it would take 15 plus years. Um, and that's where some autonomous services are claiming within the next five. Uh, and I would be um, skeptical of yeah. those claims, for sure. No, there's no doubt. I yeah. mean, the, there's an know, increasing I regulatory burden on the tech companies. Um, some of them deserve it. There's going to be some real burdens when you talk about a whole fleet of cars without any drivers in it. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's going to be some of that delay, right? Where lawmakers are going to say, hold on, uh, as they should, like, whoa. Yeah. Pedal off the gas, no pun intended, like, you know, back it off. Well, and, and I think one of the problems is going to be, you can see how you can get autonomous vehicles, you know, in the suburbs first, in the countryside, and that's a great service. But in the middle of the city, man, guess what? That's going to be more work. Yeah. It's just going to be more work, there's, period. There's, and, uh, and it's tough to in train. In the northeast with snow and that's sleet. A, it's tough to train for every yeah. single type of situation, right. you know. Um, right. You start getting rain, you start getting snow. Um, are, yeah. How do they fog? Right. They know how to break and, and steer when the, the, there's no traction because you're on ice. All that comes into play. The fog's a beauty. Let me tell you something, folks. If you're, if you're, it's not so much even in Boston, but you go up a little bit further in the main coast. Uh, fog comes in. Fog can roll in in about ten minutes. Oh, big time, right? And it's like boom. All of a sudden, you can't see in front of you. So. Yeah, and what happens there, right? So yeah, what those are the things you better get out of the car. And each of those, you could see taking six months, a year to just get over to, to the public that everything's all right. Um, yeah, no doubt. What's that's, going on with this market, man? Yeah, let's go take a look at the uh, NQs. So we're a hundred, uh, sorry, sixty-five points off the high in the Nasdaq. I yeah, think, right? and you know, guess what? This is this is a test of the highs of yesterday. Couldn't hold right at the open, and now the bottom line is: look at that sell. Someone's selling out there. Holy cow, that was at 9.30, man. All the markets right at the open had a pretty quick acceleration. They sold that down. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is game. You know, the, even the NQs. The NQs are game at the 75.26, and you're okay. at 75.70 right now. So yeah. that would get them from a positive to a negative. Um, big numbers. Uh, let's go take a look at that oil market. So CLM9, we'll get the API numbers out this afternoon. And, yeah, oil looks to me like you still want lower price. You know, this, yep. uh, uh, that's what Jeff Curry was talking about oil, too. And what he was saying, listen to this. This is a, it, he's explaining that we're the biggest exporter now in the world. Okay. Okay. And what he was saying is that, that everyone keeps looking at, you know, what the, the, the demand is. He says the supply is so huge. Okay. And guess what? So what has happened, the, where the fracking states are, folks, right? He's talking about, there's all new pipelines that are getting laid that are going to come on stream in the next year, year and a half. He says, if you think it's big now, next year, year and a half, he says, we're going to be able to get the oil out of those states and the supply is going to be big. So he's going to be saying that it's still going to be cheap oil, huh? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I know. It's huge, man.
877-927-6648. Dow. Dow is up 51. Nasdaq's up 29. S&P's up four and a half. Coming right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that is transforming into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today it's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, self African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up to 39. Nasdaq's up 24. S&P's up four. The tide's going out. We you beat gold. me to it. I we was got gonna, gold I it going ready. up. That's nice right. There we go. The Let's tide, talk about the, the tide. The tide of the market's going out. The tide might be, they might have a red tide um, yeah. the, in the markets by the time we get off the air. So Basil Chapman, tomorrow night, June 12th, 5 till 6.30. He's going to be in with subscribers for 90 minutes. He's going to be talking about the tide, whether... The tide's coming in, going out, whether the trend is bullish, bearish, in a variety of time frames. He's going to be checking out indices, currencies, commodities, those interest rates, and key stocks. Um, going over the tools he uses to break this down. And it um, should be a great workshop, man. 90 Thanks, minutes man. tomorrow. Basil's got a great service, of course. And uh, when you sign up, I just pulled it up. You gain access. We've been talking about it. He's got at least three archives right there that... Um, this is kind of the subscriber access area. So you've got three different workshops, all of them 90 minutes. You can get in there and watch anytime. Those are going to be available. The archive of tomorrow night's workshop will be available. And, of course, you gain access to his great newsletter, man. Updates every single day, Saturday, Sunday. He's got his subscribers covered. So check it out. 
get access. And let's go to a quick, quick oh. uh, take on gold. So what you're going to see, what, what's happening here simultaneously is the market's going down, folks. You get gold going up as well as uh, notes and bonds. Uh, you see the little pop there. So the lows, 1323, you're at 1329. We get over and we take a look at that 10-year uh, uh, as you're putting this together, you're going to see the same type of uh, setup here. We got to, we're down at 126.15. We get six ticks. Um, I suspect as we go throughout this trading day here, what you're going to see is we already got the rejection of higher price. You got the test of yesterday. You're selling off with volume. Bottom line, traders market. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Kevin Hanks, TD Meritrade coming up, and then we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks.